Hi, my name is Jyoti Gokaraju, and I'm a grade 12 student from Walter Murray Collegiate. Last year, I worked on a project to help non-disabled people communicate with those who have deafness and blindness. I started this project out of a personal passion to do something to help my grandfather. Last year, when I visited my grandfather in India, I noticed that he wasn't very talkative. And I found out that the reason was because he was slowly losing his hearing. Luckily, my grandfather was able to get hearing aids. But when I came back to Canada, I found out that those hearing aids had also stopped working. And this led me to wonder, what would we do and how would we communicate with him if he completely lost his hearing and his vision? I first started this project as a student-directed study assignment for Computer Science 20. To do this, my first task was finding out what currently exists. I got in contact with researchers from the Canadian National Institute for the Blind, and I did my own literature review. From this, I realized what exactly the problems were, and to summarize, if you're a deaf and blind person, you need to be with a volunteer guide communicator at all times. But the truth is, there aren't enough of them. And even when you have them, you have no independence because you can't do anything on your own anymore. Now that I knew what the problem was, I realized that the device I needed to build had to let a non-disabled person communicate with someone who is deaf and blind without them requiring any extra training and for an affordable cost. To do this, I first built the braille display that you can see here. I combined two 3D printed parts with two stepper motors to create a functioning dual braille display that you can use to read effectively and at a fairly high speed. The next part was building the braille keyboard. I designed this here using buttons I found from Amazon and my own 3D printed parts. You can enter the braille combinations and then there's also a speaker on this device that outputs it out. Allow me to demonstrate how this app and device actually work. I can go onto this app here and I can record myself saying something. In this case, I'm going to say the first words ever said on the telephone. Mr. Watson, come here, I want to see you. So I'll press start and then I'll say, Mr. Watson, come here, I want to see you. Once I press stop, I get the transcription of what I said right here. And then next, I can press convert to braille and I get the braille instructions for that sentence. And then lastly, I press send to the device. This will start moving the motors, as you can see, right here. A deaf and blind person would have their hand here, and once they feel the motors stop moving, they know that's the letter they're supposed to read. I built this device for under $100. The closest competitor would be something that costs $3,000. And on top of that, as a deaf and blind person, you don't have this ability to respond either, which means you can only read. My device combines both, which means you allow for comprehensive communication. To make my device and app even better, I worked with two librarians from the Alternate Format Materials Library here at the Saskatoon Public School Division. They helped me improve my device by giving me feedback, which I ultimately implemented to make this here. I took this project to the National Science Fair, where I was recognized as one of the top projects by winning the Gold Medal and the Engineering Innovation Award. This project is the culmination of my own efforts, but also the help of everyone from my school, my mentors, and my parents, and I want to thank everyone who helped me on this journey to build something that I hope can greatly benefit the world. Thank you.